everyone, and welcome to season five of Maine Life. I'm Erin O'Valley, your host, creator of Maine Life Media, and Baxter's mom. I moved to Maine in 2008 to be closer to my dad who was diagnosed with terminal cancer. And while I endured the biggest loss of my life, little did I know what I was about to gain. My move to Maine was exactly what I needed. I found the bestest of friends, opportunity, community, and stories similar to mine. And now through our show, Maine Life, our team gets to travel the state each week to tell the stories of others. Hardworking, interesting, resilient, and creative people living and working in all corners of Maine. Every Mainer has a story and we're so excited to share them with you. Thanks for watching. An echo of an echo is the semblance of a sound. And I've pressed and I've waited with my ear upon the ground. Oh, lover, I'll see you there, waiting in the willows with your autumn hair. Oh, lover, I'll see you there, after many miles. Happy birthday, the state of Maine. We're here to celebrate our rich history and commemorate the bicentennial of our wonderful state. And thank you for watching Maine Life. You come up to the county and they take care of you. This is what goes on. Uh, different way of life, different culture, different people, but we are wholesome, hearty, uh, loving people and we certainly love to share what we have. Hey! Hi, I'm Andrew Silsby, President and CEO of Kennebec Savings Bank. We're proud to be the presenting sponsor of Maine Life. At the same time the state of Maine is celebrating its bicentennial, Kennebec Savings Bank is celebrating its 150th year of serving the people of Maine with their financial needs. As we kick off a new year and a new season five for Maine Life, we'd like to welcome you to our newest branch location in Freeport, where we can serve the people of Southern Maine and Central Maine. From the Freeport office of Kennebec Savings Bank, thanks for watching. Hey everybody, here on Maine Life, each week we bring you to new places around our beautiful state. We plan activities, and if you've ever seen the show, you know we like to eat. And that's exactly how we're kicking off the next few weeks here at DeMillo's on the Water, where Chef is preparing some hearty winter meals, and it's local season. Come on in. Welcome, it's local season here at DeMillo's. This is our favorite time of year because we can enjoy spending more time with our locals and their families. We both grew up with the DeMello family here in Portland. I personally have been coming here for over 50 years and love the DeMello family, love the fresh seafood. Melissa Bouchard, who is the chef here, is outstanding. Anything you get here is going to be delicious. Hi everybody and welcome back to DeMello's. Today we're going to be preparing for Erin, our smashed meatball sandwich for her to share with her friends. Before she heads up to the county, it's going to warm her up and fuel her up. So about our house meatball and, and most of the menu items that we offer here at DeMillo's, everything's made in house, it's fantastic. Back here with our new locals friends, Liz and Roy, having chef's deliciousness. Chelsea, this is a mm. smashed meatball sandwich. Yeah, sandwich. so it's our house made meatball with a Fontina cheese, pesto and banana peppers and it is delicious but it's a sandwich you don't want to put down. <laughs> so Roy, are you just going to take like one big bite? How do you <laughs> yeah. put it on? I'm going to put a bib on yeah. and it's just going to happen. Get over the sink. Um, Alright, well we're going to dig into this and I am about to go to the county. Where, where in the county? The county? <laughs> <laughs> have you been to St. Agat? I have not. Oh, yes. You have. I haven't yeah. been to St. Agon. I've been to Fort Kent. Fort Kent, not okay. Far from there. And yeah. Presque Isle, Hope, and Caribou, Massardis, all over. Oh, so we've, I've been to the county, but I've never been to Madawaska and uh, St. Agat. So this is a perfect um, oh, no. meatball send sandwich to <laughs> send me off. It's a long ride. You might need two It's of a those. long yeah. ride, right. Um, all right, we'll dig in. We'll see you in a little bit. We'll see you on the road. Hey everybody, are you ready for a road trip? Last week the Main Life Group brought you to Kittery and now we are going in the opposite direction all the way up north to the county. Your main concierge, Vanessa Santarelli, once again put our customized travel itinerary together for us. And she writes, hey Erin and team, 
This week you're making the five hour drive all the way up to the county. But have no fear over the long commute because once you arrive in the St. John River Valley, you'll quickly fall in love with the culture, the land, and most of all, the locals. So I've been to the county before, never this far. Our first stop to meet Vanessa is at the Long Lake Sporting Club in St. Clair. Can't wait to meet everybody and uh, get started. It's free time. <laughs> That was easy, easy peasy, beautiful drive. We're a full service restaurant. In the summertime, we cater to the boats and that. In the wintertime, snowmobiles and fishermen, outdoor enthusiasts. It's been in my family for 40, 48 years. My grandparents had it for 20, and then my parents for 20. It's pretty laid back. Not too much going on, no traffic lights. Everybody knows everybody. Our goal here is to just, we want people to enjoy themselves. So like, you know, on a weekend night, we have that jukebox. People can go up and play what they want. When you come in as a customer, you come onto the lounge side, you can have a drink and an appetizer, and then you order your dinner. Then when your dinners are ready, you're brought into the dining room. So, you know, it's a little different little unique. Um, in the summertime we have a marina out here. We're right on the Long Lake. I never had the urge to leave. I went to college in Maine but again always wanted to come home. There's something about northern Maine too, the Eurystic County that you know. Special? Special. Yeah. yeah this here is uh, the Long Lake Sporting Club. I know a lot of people that come from afar just to come to this dining facility. Five and a half hours. <laughs> Five and a half hours. That's, that, that's just a hop, skip, and a jump. Is it? Oh, okay. That was a beautiful <laughs> ride. Uh, different way of life, different culture, different people, but we are wholesome, hearty, uh, loving people, and we certainly love to share what we have. Well, uh, thanks for sharing with us. This is my first time all the way up here. It is. It is. It's gorgeous. Well, uh, you need to make a return visit. Tell us about your trip here, how you guys all know each other, what you're doing. Snowmobiling. Know each other through snowmobiling. We put on 70 miles so far and we're going to do another 70 or 80. Call it a day. What do you like about Maine? Where your life should be. That's Thank the lemon you. jar. Thanks, Megan. No problem. Nice. <laughs> Cheers. Long Lake Sporting Club. <laughs> Woo! So this is a small bowl of Neil's chicken soup. We call it the Sledder Special. Oh, that looks it's amazing. It's only available in the winter time. And then these are the ploys. It's an Acadian tradition. Yum. Yes. For Different. Yes. Different. I love it. So delicious. You can roll them up. You can dunk them in your soup. I always just keep mine on the side. But again, there is no wrong way of eating these things. Sorry, never oh. French onion. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Neil makes the French onion soup from scratch. Wow. You if see we this? Try look, it for you. look at this cheese. <laughs> look at that. That is what it's all about right there. <laughs> Ready? Yes. Whoa. Whoa. It's a sample oh. <laughs> of all of our most popular appetizers. Yum. Maybe a little bit of everything. Yes. These are St. Louis style pork ribs uh, cooked in house. It's a homemade sauce. These are um, our hand cut steak fries. That's what we serve with all of our meals. These look awesome. These um, are boneless wings. That is so good. Worth the five and a half hour drive, everybody. Absolutely. <laughs> this, the ploys, the French onion soup, the chicken stew. Yeah. So this is our signature oh dessert. This is a chocolate torch. This is another very popular here. It's the macadamia nut blondie with maple sauce. You come up to the county and they take care of you. This is what goes on. Oh my word. No. <laughs> Hospitality. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'm glad you like it. Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm ready for a nap though. Before we go <laughs> snowmobiling, can we go for a nap? Cut. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. 
So you guys are both set for helmets. Which sleds would you like to drive? That's the one with the heated seat, so you guys can yeah, fight them. it. Um, okay. That's I just want seat. one that runs that I can't crash. <laughs> well, they're all crashable, so. I am from Fort Kent, Maine. I left for a couple years. I was a federal officer, and now I'm a business owner. In this time of year, we rent sleds a lot because when it's not snowing at this time of year, not a lot of people are looking to buy and spend money. Life is beautiful up here. It's nice and easy going. It's not as fast as city life. It's, it's uh, my kind of pace. Um, it's about taking care of people, seeing what they need, seeing what they want, and trying to do what you can to help them. So it's good to have you guys up here. Thank you. Thanks, thanks so for having much. us. And thanks for having us. And thanks for taking our sleds out. All right. So let's so. Uh, get me a, a custom well, here. Well, I'm gonna figure, I'll show you guys how to start this one. This is your brake. Okay. And this is your throttle. Ready to roll. So, Watch out. <laughs> so that's basically it. And you're just gonna let us go. We're just gonna let you guys go. <laughs> Your sleds are safe with us. I'm going to go back inside and have something to eat. So. Okay, we'll see you soon. <laughs> Can we pull it up? Do you have the fishing license? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're on camera. You're on camera. You want to make sure the person pulling it up has a fishing license, of course. So I got started, this is the salsa that I would always make at home. The protos comes in that morning, we make it, it goes in the jar, two days later it gets distributed out to Hannaford and on the shelves. For a corporation like Hannaford to take a chance on a girl who had no experience and made salsa in her home and delivered door to door, it says a lot about the company. To be honest, I think they believed in me before I did. Hi everyone, I'm Kelly Toll, owner of Pluck Fresh Salsa. Thank you so much, Hannaford. This year, the Kittery Train Post celebrates 82 years in business. 82 years of celebrating the Maine outdoors, from hiking, hunting, ice fishing, skiing, and everything in between. With over 2,000 quality brands to choose from. And you can literally find anything and everything you might want or need. We started with 360 square feet in 1938. We now have 100,000 square feet to fill all your outdoor needs. So come say hi to our friends this winter at Kittery Trading Post, and we thank them for supporting Maine life, women in business, and the outdoors. We might have a fish nearby. Okay. So I thought we'd stop in. Our friend Reno is fishing. Hi there. Hi, I'm Reno. Nice to meet you. I'm Erin. You got one? Let's check it out. What do you got? Hey, there is something on there. Really? Yeah. How can you see? I don't know, but it's just the feel. You know, after a while, you Really? Wow. Just by the feel, Reno knows it's a salmon. Oh, oh I see it! Nice. Oh! Hey, buddy! Oh! Hey. Oh, hi, guys! Hey, Reno! Yeah. That is live on oh, Long Lake. Good. In Sinclair, Maine, oh. right near the sporting club. Good job! Wow, beautiful fish. That is a pretty fish. Nice fish, Reno. Northern Maine, at its best. I live in Madawaska. I'm a land surveyor. I've been surveying all my life in Madawaska, in northern Maine. And uh, the winter times are long, so we do a lot of sledding, snowmobiling, downhill skiing, cross country skiing, snowshoeing ice skating, and uh, we keep busy. I love it in the woods. I like the remoteness of the area. Uh, not too many people. 
Aroostook County has only a few people per square mile if you do the calculation. Yeah. And uh, Aroostook County alone in Maine is bigger than Connecticut and Rhode Island put together with less than 2% of the population. So Aroostook County has many, many miles of open vistas of farmland and woodlands, and you can just spend the time seeing nature in its, uh, as, it, as it was and as it is now. Yeah. It's beautiful. We're proud to be in the great state of Maine. It's a great place to live. It is the way life should be. And happy birthday, state of Maine, from the crown of Maine, Aroostook County. Woo! Let's go warm up. <laughs> Poland Springs commitment to Maine in general is second to none. Every bottle of water that leaves the state brings a message. What we have in Maine is very special. They're also celebrating next year 175 years of existence in our state. And now from all of us at the Maine State Chamber of Commerce, thank you Poland Spring for being our sponsor for the Bicentennial Parade. I have in my 28 years here, have always worked in a customer facing role. So I work with people on constructing homes, purchasing homes, auto loans, commercial loans. I love it when someone calls and says, I hear this is a good place to do my banking. I'd like to talk with you. Hi, I'm Bill Hill. I work for the Freeport office of Kennebec Savings Bank. I'd love to talk to you about your banking needs. Hey everybody, stick around at 7.30 right here on New Center Maine after Maine Life. We have created an all new show called Cheers from Maine, highlighting our craft of brewers, distillers, and hardworking and talented people making it all happen who are behind the scenes. Cheers from Maine coming up at 7.30, check it out. Now back to Maine Life. Hey. Yeah, come on in girls. This you. Is, this is cabin number three. All right, cozy. My lucky number. You gotta... A bedroom back here with a full-size bed, but the lofts, I don't know if you need them. I'm going to sleep up in the loft. <laughs> Makes me feel Put like I'm down. a kid again. Yeah, we just climb up there. <laughs> so how old is this cabin? Do you call it a cabin or a camp or what do you... What do you cabin. Cabin? It's, it's a little... It's over 100 years old. Yeah. I'm not sure the exact date. The one next to it, cabin number two, dates back to 1880. That, that was the oldest cabin on the lake. Cool. So how many people can be at once on your property? Call it your compound. <laughs> well, 20 RVs, so you got... Oh, cool. In the summertime, it's like its own little community or something. Well, you're but... telling everybody in the yeah. whole state about oh, it. So. okay. Sorry, the secret's now like officially out. <laughs> yeah, but we don't want too many people to come up here. <laughs> 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 Number one, uh, radio station here. <laughs> yeah, I've got 420 feet of frontage on the lake here, and uh, yeah, you can't really see it because there's a boat landing in the beach and so stuff. So people but... can bring their kayaks or paddle boards yeah. and yeah, hang out whatever. in the summertime. Yeah, in the summertime. Yeah, we put out, usually we have four docks, and a lot of the people will have uh, like party boats or something like that. And that, that's the way to go out on the thing. Kayaking is too much trouble. It's yeah. easier to be out, you, you know, party to, be out, to be out with a six pack. You're you my know. kind of guy. <laughs> You're my kind of guy. Get our main accent going. Can't go. Can't leave home without it. Shoot, I forgot mine. Can I borrow yours? Well, back by popular demand. So this is for tonight. <laughs> Happy birthday to Maine. Happy birthday to Maine. I should wear that tonight. Get it? <laughs> Maine General Health's vision is to be the leading regional healthcare system in Maine, recognized for our clinical excellence, our service, our high value, and our impact on community health. We see the results of our work every day, and we want to take care of our community members from the time that they're born until they need end-of-life care and everything in between. This is our neighbors, our friends, our family that come for services here, so we want to do the best that we can for everyone.
Stay in the house. <laughs> so you guys like this place? Yeah. Love this place. Thank you for the invite. Yeah, yeah. this place is awesome. I forced, I forced a date night on you guys. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> My name is Ken Martin. I am the ex owner of the Long Lake Sporting Club in Sinclair, Maine. Uh, lucky to be alive and living the dream. Oh, I like that. Now you say ex, but you're still, I mean, your family, your son and yes, daughter. absolutely, but I don't run it like. He's running the show. Oh, thanks for having us. We had yeah. a great time today. Well, it's always nice to see new faces in the area. Yes, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. It's a lot we of fun. Welcome everybody with open arms. Welcome everybody to Eureka Restaurant and Tavern with our friend and owner, George, Papa, and all our other new friends. Well, you're not new, but these guys are. <laughs> uh, so happy to finally be here. I've yeah, heard great, so much great about to have it. You. Thanks. So you have a cool story from Jersey, then to Maui, and then and then to, the to county. Northern Maine. <laughs> yeah, I actually I grew up in a in a bar on the Jersey Shore. Yeah, I grew up in in that lifestyle and learned learned some cooking and some experience for the industry from that. And I mean, I'm a pizza fan. Being from Jersey, I'm always looking for something new, looking to, for a flavor combination. The people are awesome. It's a it's a great little community. It's like a destination for the county. It was a bowling alley. Back in the day, it held kind of like the local drunk tank for the town. Uh, it had a barber shop in it. What? Um, One stop shop? <laughs> yeah, it had uh, a movie theater and a wow. basketball court. Did you ever think that you would be here doing this? No. <laughs> Are you happy you're doing it? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Ten years of working for other people, I decided that uh, it's better working for yourself. So. Well, you're continuing an awesome thing, my friend. Oh, thank you. So good to see you. And thank you. Cheers to Travis and George yes. and friends. Good food. Cheers. Good cheers. time. Thank you. Nice to meet you guys. Thanks for sharing your table. <laughs>